Have you heard of the Tetris effect? No, I haven't. Did you play Tetris on a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Rem- remember if you did it last thing at night and then you closed your eyes, you could still see the bricks oh, falling. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that's that's where your subconscious is, is suggestible. So, for example, I keep my vision board next to my bed. Uh-huh. So the things that I know that I want, I see them last thing at night just before I fall asleep. Brilliant. More likely to imprint on my subconscious. Love that. Love you that. were on my vision board, Chris. No, the, th- the <laughs> thing is, because they say that there is another school of thought that the last thing you think at night is the first thing you think of in the morning. Mm. So so you don't want that to be a bad thing. So even if you're going through a gloomy state or anything mm-hmm. like that, just literally write something down or read Jack and Jill went up the hill and just make it that because th- your brain doesn't know what to do. It, you know, it doesn't know whether it's an order or it's an So why go to bed thinking something terrible? Yeah. Even if you are thinking something terrible, just say something out loud that isn't and yeah. you might stand a chance of waking up happier. And I just do a gratitude practice the minute I realise I'm awake. Right. Um, So before I can think, what do I have to do today? You know, what time do I have to be where? I just think, I I actually say, I love my silk pillowcase. (laughs) I love my side sleeping pillow. I love my mattress. Um, But, you know, that's a simple but beautiful way to wake up. And it blimmin' well works. And why wouldn't you do that?